Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you all a tour of my sewing space. I am so excited for this video. It is definitely long overdue. Uh, my family and I, we moved into this place that we are in now, our new home, um, I think end of January in 2019. So it's about a year and a couple of months that we've been here. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to share. Every time I wanted to record this video, it's like something else always came up and it pushed it back, but now it's the perfect time to share. Um, please be mindful that I will be moving around. So if the camera gets a little shaky, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I would do my best to keep everything nice, solid, and consistent for y'all throughout this video. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, y'all, so let's start the tour. This right here is the door that leads to my sewing room. It's right at the top of the stairs. So this is what you see right when you enter. So let's go ahead and come in. You can see my machines, my table. Um, I have some pictures here on the wall. My pegboard that I love. <laughs> and also I have a mirror here. Hi. <laughs> this mirror right here, I found this mirror at Ikea. Absolutely loved it. I caught it when it was on sale, I think for like $29.99. Um, so it was definitely coming home with me. I love it. It's a nice full length mirror. So I have this in my sewing space. The pictures and the frames on the wall are also from Ikea. I just thought they were very, you know, fashion and sewing and I love the colors in them. That looked like somebody auntie and cousin right there. Love that. <laughs> And that jacket was is so cute. I love that jacket. So yeah, the frames as well as the pictures are from Ikea. So down here at my table here, my sewing machine system right here is my Husband of Viking Designer Epic 2. If you do not know, I am a brand ambassador for Husband of Viking. And those are the machines that I currently sew on. This one right here is the Epic 980Q. I call her Candy Girl. <laughs> This one right here is my serger and cover stitch machine. It is the Husky Lock S25. That's Husky. <laughs> and this one right here is my new baby, the Designer Epic 2, and I call her Rainbow. Um, this right here is a pattern that I'm currently working on. So that's why that's on the machine. Um, I have some pins here, more pins. In this little storage box, I have some needles. Let me open that up and show it. I'll bring it over here. So I'll just kind of store pins and needles. If anything breaks, um, rotary cutters get dull or whatever, I just kind of slide them and try to open this with one hand. <laughs> I slide all that in here. Things that get dull and break, they just kind of go in there. Um, but yes, I have more pins, needles, all that stuff kind of sits in this one and I keep that over on the sewing table with the machines. As far as tables go, these tables are also from Ikea. Um, and please check the description box for the names of everything. These stools, you guessed it, Ikea. <laughs> I love these stools. I actually had some chairs and then I went and I visited uh, Mimi and Norris and I saw they had stools and I was like, oh, that's so genius. Let me get some stools in there. Um, so I actually have three of these. One's downstairs. I'll show you that one. Um, and I also have two up here. And I have gotten questions before as far as do the tables shake when I'm sewing. My tables don't shake. They are really sturdy. I like them a lot. When I'm embroidering, though, I do get a little shaking with my embroidery. Um, and all I do then is just turn down the speed of my machine and then I'm good to go. Okay, up here I have a little plant. I tried to go with the live one and it died. So I just got one from um, Hobby Lobby and put it up in there. The little plant holder thing is from Ikea. All right, and so next to that is my pegboard. I absolutely love this pegboard. I get a lot of compliments on it. The pegboard, the whiteboard itself, it was actually brown. I found it at my local Lowe's a couple years ago. I to believe it's the four by four. It was under $20 and then I just spray painted it white. And um, my neighbor at the time, her husband was into, you know, woodworking and I asked her if he would frame it. Um, and so he put that frame around it and that was brown and I went ahead and just painted that black. So that's my little pegboard situation there. And my thread is just on those regular wood thread hooks that you can get from Joann's. You can get them online, Hobby Lobby. 
um, and I just have those hooked on with a pegboard hook. So people ask me, what do I have it on? It's just these regular things right here. I just um, have it hanging <laughs> on the pegboard. So yeah, and I also have my rulers and scissors and um, all that good stuff just hanging on the pegboard as well. I'm lo it's looking like I'm gonna have to get another thread holder soon, but this is what I have so far. So coming over from the pegboard is more thread and it's also my elephant picture. You all see this the most because this is kind of the angle where I stand when I'm recording my YouTube videos. I get a lot of questions about that elephant picture. I love that. It has so many colors in it. I just thought it would be fun in my space. Um, and I found that at my local Hobby Lobby. Um, so that is where I got that painting from. Beside that is just a cutting mat and I put that there just to add something on the wall. I have one here and I also have one, it's gonna get really bright, sorry. I have one on the other side right here. Let me give you a look at these lights. So for the most part, this is what this area looks like so I can keep all of my recording equipment up, which is amazing, I love that. <laughs> Um, okay, so these are those, and I will show you the details on those when I turn them off because it's going to get really bright the closer I get. Pause. Let's go ahead and go over these tripods. So this one right here is a Vanguard tripod. It's the one that gives me the overhead shot. So when I'm doing tutorials and you see my hands moving, this is the tripod that I'm using. It has this little arm attachment that came with it. You can adjust that up or down, have it longer or shorter. Um, this is the exact name if you're interested in searching for it. I got it from Amazon. So this is that tripod that I use and this is my other tripod. Love this one. I've had it since I began blogging and recording and it's just a simple Amazon Basics. I think it's 60 inch. Um, so I love that one. This right here are the lights that I use. These things are super bright. Um, I love these lights. They do get hot <laughs> if you have them on recording a lot for a while. Um, but I really do love them um, and I'm happy with them. They came in, I think, a pack of four or five. And this right here is my umbrella set that I use. It is from Limo Studio, also from Amazon. So let's go ahead and start back with the tour. Okay, so let's come over in this area. So this chair right here, if I'm up here and I want to sit and maybe write blog posts, which I do a lot, then I would just sit here in this chair and work on some posts. I got this from my local Ikea. I was so bummed when I took it out the plastic. I saw it had a ding on it, but I just was like, whatever, I'm not driving back. <laughs> um, I also have purchased these little knobs right here from there. So I hang my mini Oliso iron there. And I also have my ironing board for sleeves just over here, just in case. And on top of this board, I usually keep this little um, bag here. I don't even know what you storage bag here. Um, I have my little iron cup for water. It mostly has pencils, marking tools, pens, seam gauges, and a notebook in it. Um, so that's usually what stays in this. That way I can easily reach these things. If I have ideas, I can just jot them down in my little notebook. Um, my ironing board is from Ikea. It's absolutely gross. So I'm going to replace it soon. Um, and here's my iron that I use most of the time. It is my Aliso Smart Iron. I have this on my table because it is the pattern um, 8033 for this dress that's over here on my mannequin. So here are also two mats that I keep on my table. Um, here is my table. It's another Ikea table. This one is a little bit longer than the other ones here. And what makes this one different is the legs are adjustable. So I can adjust these legs and now it is the perfect height for my waist. So I love that about those legs right there. So under the sewing table is my trash can. I also have my stool. I have my computer on it. And this right here is my sound equipment. Um, this was an absolute blessing. It was gifted to me. Um, and so now I have clear sound in my videos and I just kind of keep it sitting right here under the table. You can see it's moving as I talk. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have my sound equipment on. It's connected to the laptop, it's recording the sound. So that's awesome, I keep that under my table. All right, so on the other side, I do have a closet. In this space, this right here is a mannequin. I, I've been using mannequins, I found these, well, 
dress barn uh, clothes and I was able to get four at their closeout sale. So this is what I use to, you know, display my garments and mates on. So in this closet here, is where I keep tripods and books and notions and all that good stuff that we don't want to <laughs> be seen. I have it all stored in here. Those are my camera boxes. The one I'm recording on right now is the box at the bottom, which is the EOS 80D. I still have my T5i and up top are like the additional lenses boxes. Those are some Madeline intimate, intimate boxes y'all see there. Um, so this is just a zipper container, zippers just thrown in there, um, elastics and bias tape, all just kind of thrown in there. Um, those up there are tools, so like grommet, um, the hand tools for putting on grommets and eyelets. They're up there. I think I have my scissor sharpeners in there too. Um, again, books, that pink polka dot box, it has other notions and supplies in there as well. Right here is a button disaster <laughs> um i had storage for buttons in this one this one's full i have yet to buy another one um so yeah they're just all kind of in this one there's some buttons from tabitha this storage container is also from ikea and i have just a few things in here this is like a box of ufos things i need to get um to or honestly i may not even get to i had this pattern cut out but i didn't have enough fabric so that's what started and I just kind of got mad because I didn't have enough fabric. <laughs> and here are just other tools, uh, tracing tools here. Um, I think this right here is just more hangers for patterns, glue gun. I don't even know why I have that. Um, and here is my sausage and ham. Can't really see that, but sausage and ham clapper all that's in here um and this just camera bags so when i go somewhere um and i'm gonna be recording or taking pictures i'll just put that in there i also keep any projects that i need to photograph in here so after i sew up some things i have hangers in here that i can just keep them in here especially when i'm doing like a what i made video <laughs> i won't have to go hunting um for the projects they're just right in here and back here on this side, um, I've just started to redo some of my slopers because I haven't redone them in a couple years. And the ones that I had, they're not the same measurement. So it's time to kind of update my sloper. So that's what I've started to do back there. Also have some tracing paper, pattern paper. Um, this is like a backdrop, but I don't use that. I also have a ring light down there that I haven't used. <laughs> Right here, I have another uh, same storage unit as the one you just saw in the closet. This one has white cubes, um, TV remotes. These are some embroidery projects that I did. Um, this is where I keep my camera info and kind of like SD cards are down in here. Pause, let's get into these cameras. So this one right here is a Sony Alpha 6000. Um, I use this camera to do my overhead filming and recording because it's small, it's lightweight. It doesn't tilt my tripod, um, so I like that a lot. It came in a kit with two lenses, the one that's attached on it, as well as this big one right here. Um, I've never used this lens, but obviously I'm gonna keep it, so I have that one. I've also purchased other lenses like this Canon 50 mil here. Love that one. And I also have this little small tripod here, so whenever I'm recording IGTV or something quick for YouTube, I have my phone attached to that, to that tripod right there. This one right here is the Canon T5i, my first ever camera. Love it. Good old faithful <laughs> T5i. Um, and attached to that one is a 24mm lens. It's an additional lens that I purchased. It came with the kit lens, which is this one right here, the 1855mm. So those are my cameras and my lenses. And I also store my hard drives and SD drives in that bin. This is everything I tried to keep. <laughs> So this is the table right here from Ikea. I tried to keep all the labels so I could share it with you all so I wouldn't forget um, the things that I have in here. So you can see I made effort. Okay, these are the adjustable legs right here. <laughs> the little triangles that I have on my wall from Target. So I kept all that for y'all. I also have like the machine bag kits 
So I have all those there. They're like the things that come with the machine, presser feet and all that. Keep it in there. Down in here is more of like, you know, tools, tape, markers for my board up there, um, pens and stuff like that. So that's what I keep in there. Have my TV here and a little board. Hey. <laughs> So now let's go ahead and go out of my sewing room and let's go to where my patterns are stored at. All right, so in my laundry room right here, um, I'm really showing y'all everything, okay? <laughs> this is where I'm able to store my pattern drawer. Um, as you saw in my room, it doesn't have that space, but my laundry room is literally right next to it, so I'm able to store that there. So just ignore everything on that side. Up here are some containers just full of short yardages. So maybe after I've sewn something, I'm sure you all have seen these fabrics right here. After I have sewn something and maybe I have like a half a yard left, I'll just kind of put it in those bins. Um, so that's really what all that is. I need to get some scrap busting projects going here so I can get these, um, clear these bins out. Um, but yeah, above that in this one is actually my PDF patterns. I have no kind of system for storing those other than just kind of folding them together and stuffing them in there. So that's where my PDF patterns are. So right here, this is my fabric stash, y'all. Um, and it's so funny because I recently told people that this is all the fabric that I had. Um, and then I went shopping. I've had some fabric gifted to me. So now I have fabric that sits up here. Um, <laughs> but normally I just had this right here this is my fabric i just kind of have it rolled together and put in here and these little bins this right here has actually been pre-washed just ready to go under that is more fabric that's just been rolled up and you know just stored away so this here is my fabric stash and i love it because i really don't need a lot of fabric stored because i have a ton of patterns we're going to get to that <laughs> here's another mannequin right here again from dress barn She's just displaying some stuff. On top of my drawer here, I have a basket with some heat and bond products in it, some spray adhesive, fusible fleece, all that great stuff. And this is from ThermoWeb, so that's all in there. I also have some books here, um, magazines, thread, sew news, drafting books, pattern making, sewing. Um, this is what I was using when I first started sewing. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. <laughs> this pattern is already cut out and ready to go. Hopefully I will get to that soon. This basket is just full of interfacings. All types of interfacings are all down in here. Um, this is a pressing cloth. Um, but yeah, this is like my little interfacing bin. I keep that there. And this right here is my drawer. I love this drawer. It is from Ikea also, as well as this basket, as well as this storage in those bins as well from Ikea. And so this is my patterns here. Now, when I first started sewing, I was putting them in this, in Manola envelopes and I have the covers of the patterns in these right here, like these little clear um, notebook things. But I just couldn't keep up with that. I was getting patterns way too fast. Um, and yeah, for me, it just I just couldn't keep up with it. So now I just organize everything by pattern, brand, and number. So that's what all of these are. These are all simplicity. These patterns here are simplicity as well. And I think it goes back about 40 patterns um, per row. Um, these over here are justice patterns. These are also some more simplicity patterns. Down here, I have some Butterick Vogue. These are Butterick New Look McCall's. And these are all McCall's up here. So honestly, it's getting pretty full. I'm gonna have to do a pattern purge soon um, and maybe um, sell some, give some away. I don't know, we'll see. But it's definitely time to do a purge. <laughs> so this right here is where, again, I store my patterns. And I'm just trying to get this little angle because this is like the cute part of the room, right? Like right there. Let's take a picture of that. So let's go to the last area and that is where I do my embroidery. All right, so I am coming downstairs now. 
All right, and this here is where I do my embroidery. This right here is big blue. I usually have rainbow down here since she's the newest machine and I'm like really playing around with her, doing some embroidering. Um, but since I'm doing a project with rainbow, she's upstairs. Um, so big blue is down here right now and he is hooked up to do embroidery. So this is this area right here. This is the table. Same uh, length as the one that I cut on upstairs. The legs are different though. These legs, they do not um, adjust, which is fine. Okay, the table again is from Ikea and here is the storage that I have down here beside this machine. And this has all of my embroidery tools and things in it. So embroidery thread, tape, seam ripper, um, random stuff, I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, here's my books and manuals for the machines. Also have some more thread down here. And this right here is the attachment. If I didn't have the embroidery arm on, I would have this attachment on. And these are just some stabilizers for, in, for embroidery. So yes, this is my other area for sewing. This is where I do all of my embroidering. And again, this is more storage from good old Ikea. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you all enjoyed it. Um, I tried to list everything that I mentioned down in the description box. So if you missed something, then check there. Um, but if I did miss something, just let me know in the comments and hopefully I can find it for you. Um, but that is all again for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Blessings everyone. Bye.